12-4 mutations. As precise as they are, every now and then cells make mistakes in copying their own DNA. Inserting an incorrect base or sometimes even skipping a base as the new strand is put together, these mistakes are called mutations. From the Latin word mature, meaning to change, mutations are changes in the DNA sequence that affect genetic information. Like the mistakes that people make in their daily lives, mutations come in many shapes and sizes. Gene mutations result from changes in a single gene. Chromosomal mutations involve changes in the whole chromosome. Gene mutations. Some gene mutations involve several nucleotides, but the majority involve just one. Mutations that affect one nucleotide are called point mutations because they occur at a single point in the DNA sequence. Some point mutations simply substitute one nucleotide for another. These substitutions generally, although not always, change one of the amino acids in a protein. When a point mutation involves the insertion or deletion of a nucleotide, much bigger changes result. Remember that the genetic code is read in groups of three bases known as codons. What happens if a nucleotide is deleted? The base is still read in groups of three, but now the groupings are shift for every codon that follows. Inserting an extra nucleotide has a similar effect. Changes like these are called frame shift mutations because they shift the reading frame of the genetic message. By changing the reading frame, frame shift mutations affect every amino acid that follows the point of insertion or deletion, as shown in figure 12-19. Such mutations can alter a protein so that it is unable to perform its normal function. Okay, guys, so here we have a DNA sequence here. Um, the original sequence is uh, TAC GCA. Okay, um, when it's transcribed, this is what happens. Okay, so you get this mRNA, right, and then this mRNA, this mess, this messenger molecule goes to the ribosome and makes this protein. Okay, with these amino acid sequences. But as you can see here, we have a substitute mutation. So what happened was, okay, when the DNA was copied, instead of a C, uh, instead of a cytosine nucleotide, uh, it was substituted with a thymine nucleotide. And so when, during translation, right, thymines paired up with adenines. And if you look up this code here, CAU, it's going to give you, uh, it's going to tell the ribosome to connect histi histidine instead of arginine. So as you can see, the amino acid sequence is different, okay, after the mutation has taken place, okay, from the original protein. Here, we have an insertion mutation. So here's the original DNA at the top, okay, hopefully you guys can see my cursor. Um, and what you guys can see is that um, you have TAC as the original sequence, but what happened was that TA T, right? Here's the C, and a T, a thymine nucleotide, was inserted that was not present before. So now, when the ribosome um, reads this, uh, the 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 sequence, right? So now we're going to have transcription occur, A U A, right? So um, because of that nucleotide that was inserted here, the C got shifted, right? That's what they call a frame shift. The cytosine got shifted. Um, to the to the to the right, and so now instead of reading A U G, the ribosome is going to read A U A, right? And so from the beginning, now look, that's the correct, that's the incorrect amino acid. We needed methionine. Now the ribosome is getting a code to add 
uh, isoleucine. And now when he reads the next three letters, the next three codes, CGG, right, it's going to, the ribosome is going to think that it needs to put alanine instead of um, arginine, right? And so, and that this continues because that one nucleotide was inserted, now everything got changed. UAC should have been ACC, right? ACC is over here, but the nucle the ribosome has to read this, and it puts tyrosine. And then here's the last triplet, the last codon, CUU is um, uh, leucine, okay? And it happens to be the same um, code, so we don't have a problem there. But look at these three amino acids are different than the original three. And so by the insertion of that nucleotide, that mutation caused this frame shift um, of, uh, of, of the reading frame. And so therefore the protein was built completely incorrectly uh, pretty much. And so therefore this protein won't be able to do its job. Okay, remember we talked about codes um, in, um, with respect, this is the code, right? The code got changed and therefore the, the app, the protein was not built correctly and therefore it won't do its job. It's similar to this. So for example, let's say I put the fat cat ate the rat. If I delete the H, right? Okay, and I keep the reading frame the same, like just, you know, the three letters in each box, then the message gets completely altered, right? The, act at the, her, right? So just by deleting one, okay, nucleotide, here was, well, here we inserted, here we're deleting, okay, a mutation, right? So it basically had the same effect. It changed the reading. Um, it was a friendship mutation, so it changed the way the ribosome read the messenger RNA, and therefore, okay, the message is no longer the, um, giving us the correct amino acid sequence that's required. So, like I said, um, this is very important, um, especially now in COVID. Um, you hear about all these different strains of coronaviruses. Well, this is exactly what they mean. Okay, imagine this is the original coronavirus strain. And so what ended up happening is maybe there was a substitution. Um, maybe that when the, the, the virus of the COVID, um, uh, when the DNA of the virus was replicated, um, maybe there was a substitution mutation which caused a different protein to be made um, in the virus. And so therefore the virus can now have like, a, a, can be more, of, um, um, have a you know a greater likelihood of infecting people. Okay, here's another situation. Maybe the the original DNA of the virus, um, a nucleotide was inserted, um, and um, and then that caused a completely different protein. And now because this protein is completely different, right? That's what they're worried about. Maybe this protein is giving the virus an ability to infect people way faster, right? And so they're hoping that our vaccines can still fight. Okay. Um, this 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 new variant, um, and so and so the same thing with deletion mutations. Um, keep in mind that most of the time substitution mutations, or maybe most most always all always almost all mutations for the most part don't have a, a great effect, okay, or uh, much of an effect on the protein. Um, but when they uh, when when nucleotides are are inserted or deleted and that changes the way the message is read and the, that causes the ribosome to build a completely different protein so those are the most harmful um, mutations or the, or, or the mutations that can have the greatest effect because sometimes mutations are good and sometimes mutations are bad okay often mutations don't do anything so but um, hopefully you guys learned the difference um, what a mutation is here are three examples of mutation a substitution mutation an insertion mutation and a deletion mutation. Um, hopefully this makes sense. Um, and um, if you have any questions, let's talk about it in class. All right, see you in class.